What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Men Only. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so I recently went to a singles event, and it was 90% women. Fell it. Brutal. Oh, goodness gracious. Big bag, big bag. Um, but it just be like that. Chat, let me know. Do you Are you guys going to singles events? I'm going to be honest. I, I wouldn't go to one. I might go to one as like a social experiment with maybe like some spy glasses or something like that, just to see what it's like. Um, but I feel like I would slay. I would absolutely slay. Because I, 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 know, I know I'm going in there. I have nothing to lose. I'm in a relationship, so it's like I have nothing to lose. But let me know in the comments. Should I go to a singles event and just see what it's like and try to record it? I think it'd be hilarious. Single that has a desire to be in a relationship or find a partner. I have some dating advice that's going to help you in the early phases of dating or the talking stage. Okay. Generally, at this period of time, there's not a lot of emotions involved, especially if you haven't even gone on a date yet. Women are genuinely just looking to see if there's any sort of a connection there, that you guys get along, that you have a good or a fun personality, that there's similar interests, and what your overall intentions are. Women also want to know that you actually have an interest in them by asking them questions and trying to get to know them. I think this is so simple, but it's really easy for us to only want to talk about ourselves. So just asking questions and being interested in them is so important, but there's a massive difference between showing that interest versus smothering someone and giving desperado. What I mean by no, I that- I love it. It's, I love it. It's always like, be interested, but not too interested. <laughs> Love me, but not too much. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Is you don't need to be sending four or five messages in a row. If she doesn't respond, just give her the time to respond. Because if she's interested, she will eventually respond to you, even if it's in a couple or hours or so. You don't need to keep following up with a bunch of messages. And in this period of time, I've learned that there's no use in texting about so many personal or intimate details and sharing like overloads of things about yourself because that's what the dates are for. Don't romanticize a text message or what you guys are talking about in a text. Get straight to the date and actually meeting in person to see if it's... Baby girl, where's your man at? Shots fired! Are you single? Why do, why do single women give the most advice about being in relationships? Oh, that's right. Because they have a lot of free time, whereas women that are in relationships are spending time with the men they love. Crazy work. Going to go anywhere rather than wasting time chatting away over text. Also, just be genuine. Be yourself. Be real. Whatever that looks like for you. Do not try to put on a facade and be someone that you're not because that mask will slowly slip over time and women will essentially see you for who keep it a buck that jacket is a facade <laughs> what is that who you truly are and see your true colors so just from the gate what if your true cr uh, what if your true colors are trash <laughs> i think there's bad people out there not everybody deserves a partner if you're a bad person i feel like you should just be alone be yourself and be you and yeah. the person that's going to be meant for you is going to connect with that version of you and it's going to create an amazing amazing connection and relationship here's the thing men have stopped playing the day good lord well that's the th yeah also we're done playing the games the games are ridiculous these days can you imagine being a single bro being a single guy right now shout out to you guys I don't know how you're doing it, especially if you're still pursuing these women, bro. The the amount of women that work at Delulu Lemon <laughs> is absolutely crazy to me, bruv. I recently went to a singles event and it was 90% women. And I was wondering, like, where's all the dudes? Um, I don't know, but they're not there. And that's cool. Not like I care. She went to a singles event. She has crazy blue eyes. She's got a good look. Which tells me it's something about her personality. Because, lady, here's here's the three things that can get a man's attention. Number one, your appearance is what gets our attention. But you know what keeps our attention is your personality. And you know what makes us fall in love with you is your character. So more than likely, if you're getting a lot of attention and a guy doesn't want to, you know, keep talking to you, more than likely it's your personality. And then finally, it's probably your character. I always say this, man. Your looks get you a ticket to the dance, but your personality is what gets you a date afterwards. To a singles event tonight in Brisbane on Thursdays they hold single events in Brisbane I think Sydney Melbourne and I saw a girl on TikTok post that she was going a few weeks ago 
and then I commented something and then another girl has messaged and said, should we meet up for this time? So I've never been before. See, here's the problem, ladies. Stop going to these single events with like five girlfriends. Because that's what y'all end up doing. Y'all end up making friends and then going. And no guy wants to approach a group of three women. Chat, let me know. We have a lot of guys here. If you saw three women talking at a table, would you want to be like approaching them? No, because here's what we're going through. Well, here's what's going through our head. Number one, when we walk up, we know we're going to have three pairs of eyes staring at us. Six eyes just going, judging us. We don't want to have to deal with that. Go to a singles event alone. That, that's what the whole point of the singles events are, is you go alone. You're alone, so go alone. Stop going with three or four girlfriends. It's intimida intimidating for a guy. Personally, I don't want to approach three girls at one time and then hit on one and the other two get jealous and try to sabotage me and cock block me. I don't want to have to deal with that. But that's what we go through as men. It's absolutely ridiculous that these women go out there. They make more friends than they do make uh, romantic connections. But that's what you ladies do. Stop going with girlfriends. Stop. Four. Um, doesn't seem like my thing. Seems really awkward. But I'm going because I get to meet up with this girl beforehand. Um, if anything, obviously, I don't have high hopes for meeting someone that I'm going to date or potentially date. Um, There's nothing. Least... Just being... <laughs> so negative and nihilistic i don't have high hopes then why are you going so hopefully make some friends so um you don't yeah get out of your comfort zone if you don't do these kind of things i guess um yeah we'll see what happens i don't think i'm gonna meet someone that i'm like the love of my life because i'm not really a city girl anyway so i doubt i'm gonna meet someone that has such common interests with me and that i have um, a lot in common with in the city because I'm not really a city person. Um, a girl saying, I'm not a city girl while she's in the city. <laughs> Can't make it up. I mean, I like to go sometimes, but it's like not my thing to be there all the time. But yeah, like, it, what's the vibe? Is it like stupid? Everyone's just like awkward when they're there, or is it, I feel like it's going to be more like, like a friend vibe. Well, just change out of your grandma's cardigan first, then get ready for the event. Um, don't wear that. And if people go all the time, is it the same people going to be there all the time? I've never been before, but yeah, it would be, it's kind of interesting, I guess. Um, definitely going to have a couple of vodka sodas, but I can't get drunk because, um, I'm driving plus me getting drunk in like that kind of environment is that's a silly idea because I can be a bit of a goose. Um, she's a runner, she's a track star. I'm driving in. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Just something to do, I guess. I work from home all day today, so. We're waiting on pins and needles for how it goes, honey. You guys know how it goes. Yay. Singles events have basically Please do. I, I, wa I want to know. I'm, I'm waiting here. I can't wait to hear. Um, so interested that I had to skip past it. Um, <laughs> God, I would never go to a single. I think, actually, you know what? I take that back. I've been to one, but I went because they had free drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't actually going. I was in a relationship at the time. I was like, hey, Cass, like there's a singles event. You want to go and just like act like we're single just so we can drink free wine? She's like, yeah. One time a man flew me out to California for a date, like a whole weekend. We're having a great time, okay? Wine tasting, all this stuff, meeting friends. At the wine tasting, we're at like our second spot. We're a little buzzed, whatever. The truth starts coming out, right? I'm mid-sip. He's like, I need to tell you something. What do you need to tell me? Well, you know, you need to know that you're a six. Excuse me, what do you mean I'm sick? <laughs> I love it. Keep it her buck with her. <laughs> no, you need to know that your looks qualify you as a six. And I was like, why are you telling? This is kind of inappropriate. And like, why are you telling me that? He's like, you just need to know your place, that you're a six. Oh, I love it. This man, look at him. You need to know your place. What? You flew me out here to see me. You're attracted to me. You wanted to see me, and now you're telling me that I need to know my place and that I'm a six? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Anyways, I then continued to have like a six month situation with that man. Let's just. <laughs> This is why I say I do things that get results. I don't do things that are moral and ethical. 
She just said that this man called her a six and was rude about it. Flew her out, was rude, and she had a six-month situationship with this man. Chat, we do things that work. I do, th I do things that get results. If he would have sent and been like, oh, baby, you are just a 10, baby. I just love you. You're just, you look so good. More than likely, he wouldn't have been able to take her back to the crib and blow her back out. But he kept it a buck with her and was like, you're a six at best. I just need you to know you're lame. And she stuck with him for six months. Like, come on. I went to a speed dating event and I left because I felt unsafe. If you've ever been speed dating, you'll know that usually it's tables and chairs and the woman will be sat across the table from the man at a reasonable distance. The women sit there, the men rotate. Well, not at this venue because there barely were any tables and chairs and they were expecting people to sit next to each other, cozied up on seats like this. Then there was an area like this with like a horseshoe table and they were expecting three different couples, so six people to sit there. The woman would have to sit directly next to the man turn towards each other and then the people in the middle would be trapped in and every time the men had to move tables they trapped in honey you're in public at a club you're not trapped would have to climb over the woman there was another table like this where they were expecting four people to sit on one table two couples each couple cozied up next to each other on the same freaking seat you can see here how it would have worked like those two ladies sat next to each other that is how close you would have to sit to a man you don't know and you may not feel comfortable with and let's be then don't go to a singles event stupid realistic while speed dating does attract some normal guys it also attracts some odd characters what about the ladies though it attracts some odd characters of the ladies too venue is called the ladybird bar in islington and as soon as i got there i was like this is not appropriate for speed dating it's a speakeasy there's no tables it's too dark too loud it just was not appropriate for speed. Anyway, when I got there, I started chatting to another girl who also told me that she felt uncomfortable with the situation and she didn't want to be sitting next to guys shoulder to shoulder. You know what I think is so impressive? This this head tilt. Like if you watch the whole time, she's got like, it's like almost this angle the entire time. Like that that in itself is impressive. She hadn't met and doesn't feel comfortable with either. So we both decided to leave. I wasn't really bothered about getting my money back because I was there on a credit because I'd gone to another speed dating event and hadn't got any matches. But the girl that I'd met had spent £20 on her ticket. So she wrote an email of complaint. They couldn't even be bothered to read it. She outlined all of her concerns about how the venue was not appropriate for speed dating, how as women, we felt extremely unsafe and not comfortable, how the men would have to climb over each other to move tables, how putting multiple people on a table means you can't have private conversations. Just that victim mindset, dude. Just everything is out to get you. Nothing is, everything's like not your fault. It's just the lack of accountability. Honey, you're alone for a reason. You're grasping at straws. These events are great for you. Maybe it's not the ideal setting that you want, but this is why I say these women have these crazy expectations, and when expectations don't get met, people get upset, and these women continuously just get upset. Because they're like, I want it to be perfect. I want it to be a Disney romance where a guy walks in, sweeps me off my feet. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be a dingy bar. <laughs> you're in your 30s and you're single. You're grasping at straws. And she explained that we left because neither of us felt comfortable. They just said, Loki, I'm hearing you lick your lips. Does somebody want some jerky? You want a beef jerky? We got beef jerky today. Pre, sit, wait. Pre, sniffing it like you ain't gonna eat it. Go to your place, sniffing it like he ain't gonna eat it. Come on, bro. <laughs> you know you're gonna eat that. Sent her a generic reply written as if she had complained that there weren't enough men there, which is obviously just a stock thing they send out. You can't be expecting women to go and meet complete strangers and basically sit on their lap. It's not comfortable and it's not fair. And then to receive a complaint email where this lady that I met outlined that that's not an appropriate venue for speed dating. Please don't put any speed dating events on there again because it's putting women in an uncomfortable situation. They couldn't even be asked to read that and just sent some generic reply. Very disappointing. I was kind of done with speed dating anyway. Certainly would not be attending any original dating events in the future because this is very poor customer service, very poor safeguarding for women. Any women watching, do you think we were right to leave? Would you feel comfortable speed dating in that situation? Because I certainly didn't. Here's the reality. I love it, dude. I absolutely love it. Nothing's ever good enough. There's a reason she's alone, because she's a picky Vicky. That's what I call these types of women, picky Vickies. Like fours and fives at best being super picky Vickies. show you why dating today is so hard for women. They're constantly going after men that really don't want them, just want their cheeks. Take a look at this. Watch this.
He's literally on his way up here and I have like a few minutes, but I needed to, I wanted to make sure I recorded this just in case, you know, we get married because I really like it. But um, yeah, so I don't know what tonight's gonna be like and I'm excited to see what he plans on doing tonight. <laughs> okay, we got a woman who's excited about a man who's coming to her crib. Clearly she likes him, she wants him, right? She got her best makeup on, she put on her war paint. She got on her best outfit, she did her hair, she got all ready. And let's see how it's going to go at the end of the night. Take a look. Cheeks beat and alone. So he ended up telling me that he wasn't ready for anything serious and that I deserve better. And that's how the night ended. Oh, that's always that's always a good one. You deserve better, baby. I just can't give you what you really want. <laughs> I'm just not ready. <laughs> that's in the player's handbook right there. Just an update. <laughs> I beat the cheeks and left. How much y'all want to bet he still clapped the cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the diabolical work of dating. How much you guys want to bet that that man still got the cheeks? <laughs> How much you want to bet he ain't take her out on no date? He ain't take her out on no date. So, Bro, if you're going directly to a girl's crib, it's beating the cheeks on sight. One hand, you got women that don't really like a guy demanding that they take them to the finest of steakhouses. And then on the other hand, you got women that actually like men who are letting them clap the cheeks without taking them nowhere. After he tells her that you deserve somebody better than me, I'm no good for you. <laughs> but I'm gonna steal and annihilate your cheeks. <laughs> Ladies, when a man tells you that, that means he does not want you. He's over there just to get some cheeks. And then he's. <laughs> Here's the thing. Well, that's why I always say if she's making you wait, another dude hit it on the first date. <laughs> Put it on a freaking t shirt. Because if she's making you wait, more than likely she's had a Chad or a Tyrone come by and straight below her back out and realign her spine single again although i guess i was single the entire time really um i'm back to having no one on my roster and i'm in the phase of dating where i'm just feeling a little bit hopeless it would be one thing if i saw a lot of examples of couples falling in love who lived in new york all over my for you page and when i heard about it even when i saw it with any of my friends who were looking for men but get off of social media honey all of my friends are still single um i am obviously still and single women keep women single you it's the amoeba effect man you're only successful as the top five people you spend the most time with time with if you're spending your time with a bunch of alone single people that are bitter more than likely that's how you're going to be too still single i don't know of any couple that has gotten together in new york uh in the past year dating in new york has always been bad but honestly i've never had a hard time until the past year it might be because i'm 31 and i want something serious but oh it's probably why honey before, I don't know, I would always just say that men are around and I only want one. And so I would just find one. Um, and they were all wondering. She's a runner. She's a track star. Love it when a woman tells her Bob lore. It's the best. Wonderful people. Like I've only ever dated very good guys. But now I don't know if all the good guys are taken. I don't know if all the good guys are not straight. I don't know if they have oh, left. The homophobia is crazy. It's almost every girl too. I don't know if they're not straight. There's good guys out there. You had your chance and you blew it. Take accountability. Let's see if she does. New York, I don't know what it is about this city, but it just feels like this is where love comes to die. And New York to me has always been a pretty romantic city, so it's even more confusing for me when I'm out or when I'm looking around at dates or when I'm talking to my friends about their dating life. And it's just, it's all bad. Here's the thing. Maybe you're making bad decisions and hanging out with people that make poor choices. Stupid. You ever think about that? This is what I don't get with a lot of these modern women, dude. They don't understand that the common denominator in all these relationships is them. Like you're the common denominator. So if you're getting fed up with all of the results that you're getting, more than likely it's your own actions. Let's jump into the subreddit really quick. Desex, body um, negativity sure is H-E double hockey sticks isn't positive. All right, let's see. Let's jump into this real quick body image issues in ways that I wasn't necessarily anticipating to be out in the world dating men who have opinions about bodies. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Here's the thing. Most men have opinions on bodies. Most men don't want to date. Big back, big back. Just saying. The movement doesn't take male preference into account. Welcome to Manage Paradise Dating. This is I'm not sorry, but if I can't pick you up on our wedding night, it's just not for me. And I'm not a linebacker on the Cowboys. <laughs> My knees aren't built that way. A this video i repeat this is not a this video 27 years old in your fat body today i am 27 years old and i love my body i love every place that my body has taken me i love everything that my body sees and witnesses and experiences how radical would it be if we just loved ourselves that's what body liberation tells me body liberation is 
taking back essentially what belongs to me, my birthright, and that is to come home to my body and to trust her. But this is I'm sorry, it's just being unhealthy, bro. Stupid. Being in your body, all this positivity, like you you just now you have like high high blood pressure. You're more likely to have PCOS. It's harder for you to have kids. I'm like, what is so glorious about being big? It's just a health risk. That point was just simply a a way to step back okay. and grant myself some perspective. So you need the right? distraction. I didn't exactly. I didn't need okay. to rush. I didn't need to rush into that version of intimacy. Like I think one of the best things that we can grant ourselves is the power of pause. Okay. And that. in that I moment, that. I just needed to sit with my own energy. Exactly. I like yeah, that. and connect with people on a deeper level. Um, and most importantly, just like see the ways in which I might uh, attempt to run away from myself into the arms of somebody else. <sighs> Running. <laughs> Not doing a lot of that. I'll simply not have to deal with my own stuff. First off. Look at that. Accountability has left the chat running. <laughs> Stop lying. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to hell. Am I a bad person, chat? Am I a bad person? I don't know. I just like, if it was a guy talking about this, I'd, I'd do the same thing. It's just so hard for me to feel bad. Like, I just always go back to that Bill Burr quote, you ate your way in, so walk your way out. Like, there's a lot of health problems that come with being big. You know what I mean? And too skinny. Too skinny, there's a lot of health problems. Being a healthy weight is hard, but you got to choose your heart in this life. You want to be alone, it's hard. You want to be in a relationship, it's hard. You want to be big, it's hard. You want to be in shape, it's hard. Like, it's all hard. You just got to choose your heart. Um, but man... Absolutely wild to me. I had, I had to stop there before I got on Demon Time. I'm gonna keep it a buck. But shout out to you, Desex. That's a that's a good video. Um, Loki, did you have a good time today? Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook. The four pillars of personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. But I will see you guys tomorrow, my man. Peace.